What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. Today I've got a full day of eating using the groceries I got in the last video. So if you haven't checked that out, I did a bulking grocery haul where I showed you guys the foods I'm eating on my bulk right now. And today we're gonna take you guys through a full day of eating those groceries or a full day of eating with those groceries. Starting off with breakfast, we're gonna have some pretty basic, or a pretty basic breakfast in my opinion. We're gonna be having some eggs here. We're making three eggs, cooking those up with a little bit of butter. And we're also gonna have an English muffin um, so we got an English muffin right here, already ate four of those. We have one English muffin. We're probably gonna top that with maybe butter or maybe some jelly. I don't think I showed the jelly on the grocery haul, but I did pick up some jelly. And then we're gonna have a glass of orange juice right here, the orange juice with pineapple. And then I'll probably cup of bell pepper. So let me see if we have that in the fridge, because that's one thing I do cut up and kind of eat as I cook. Um, where would that be? Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're also gonna have a bell pepper. Looks like we got red or orange. I'm gonna grab one of those, cut that up, and eat it as we make the breakfast. I'll show you guys the final product as well as the macros and calories for everything. And here we have our breakfast. Pretty quick to whip up. The only thing that really takes some time is cooking the eggs. Everything else is just like cut the English muffin, throw it in the toaster, cup of bell pepper. And then this is the jelly we're gonna be using. Or I guess it's a strawberry preserve. I believe this might be raspberry preserve. Why is that not focusing? Maybe, kinda. There we go. <laughs> but as you can see, it is. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it's a strawberry preserve. It comes in these um, glass containers with this little lid on top. I found it at Kroger and it is absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend that. we we'll are be using one tablespoon of that across our English muffins. And then we have our glass of orange juice. It's gonna be one cup or about eight ounces. Our English muffin, three eggs, cooked in butter, and our English muffin. Yeah, so pretty straightforward there. The macros for this meal are, I guess, the calories. First off, come out to be 592 calories, 74 grams of carbs, 22 grams of fat, and 26 grams of protein. A little bit light on protein than I would actually prefer, but it's one of those things where I'm not super hungry in the morning, protein's very filling for me, and I'm gonna have my post-workout meal, or my sorry, my pre-workout meal, a little bit earlier today, because I have a meeting at three, so I need to get to the gym and come back. So I have a little bit of a lighter breakfast and probably heavier meals later in the day that I'll show you guys later on. But that is breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead, dig into this, and I'll see you guys at the next meal. Just like that, it's time for the second meal of the day. Probably a little bit earlier than I want to, but with just the schedule of today with meetings and stuff like that, I need to go to the gym a little bit earlier. So that means I need to have my pre-workout meal a little bit earlier. But you guys have seen this many, many times on the channel before. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. I'm gonna whip it up. I'll tell you guys macros. But we've got our oatmeal right here. We're gonna do two packets of this maple brown sugar, less sugar. So we got two packets of that, boom. We're gonna cook that in a little bit of water. Then we're gonna add a little bit of almond milk, just a splash of this almond breeze in order to mix in our protein. We've got the Transparent Labs, the dark chocolate flavor right there. And then on top of that, we're gonna add a tablespoon, or sorry, two tablespoons, or one serving of our peanut butter, as well as a banana. And also, one quick thing, just because um, I do get asked quite a lot about what my favorite flavor of protein is. I'm a huge fan of chocolate, but I realize not everyone is a chocolate fan. So what they have released is this little variety pack. So you can see, um, I'm gonna read this off real quick, but. I believe they have milk chocolate, chocolate peanut butter, oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, strawberry milkshake, and French vanilla. So you can get this little packet and try five different flavors rather than buying an entire tub of protein, which um, I have seen other companies release those as like samples, but never actually sold them. So that's pretty cool. So you can buy uh, a pack of five, try your, basically try them out, figure out which one's your favorite, and then actually order a full tub of it rather than have to buy a full tub and not enjoying the flavor, that kind of thing. But as I mentioned before, I'm a huge fan of chocolate. That's what I use through and through. I still need to try the strawberry milkshakes. That might be something I try on, do like a little taste test on the channel at some point, because that's one I've actually never had before. Without further ado, I'm gonna whip this up and I'll see you guys at the final meal. Well, yeah, well, final meal, final product, <laughs> not final meal of the day, final product, go over the macros and the calories as well. All right, so our oats are made. We got our peanut butter in there, banana cut up. But Maisie knows that she gets the peanut butter knife when I make my oats. So she's gonna sit and she's gonna have her little treat. Good girl. Oh, there's some left. There's some left. <laughs> there you go, good girl. You happy? Got your peanut butter? <laughs> Help you? Maisie, can you sit? Sit. Shake. Shake. No, that one. Good girl. Other one. <laughs> Let's see how long she does this for. Can shake. Shake. Hey. <laughs> no. Shake. Good girl. Other one. Good girl. You're so silly. 
There's our silly. Shake. Maisie, shake. <laughs> You're over it. Now we got Maisie fed. We've got one of my favorite pre-workout meals. I've been having this for so long and I still crave it. Even though I'm bulking and I don't like it or don't have as many cravings or as much hunger, I still look forward to this meal each and every day. This comes out to be 683 calories, 83 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 46 grams of protein. Obviously, the majority of the protein coming from the scoop of protein we add in, but it mixes really well. A splash of almond milk to help it mix together. You get a nice oatmeal consistency like that. You could have it a little bit more runny, add a little more almond milk, or a little thicker, add less almond milk. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. I'm gonna eat this. And then I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm actually going with my little brother, Ben, I'm taking him to the gym while he's home for the, uh, I think it's spring break. Yeah, spring, <laughs> his spring break, he's home for a little bit. So we're gonna go to the gym together. And I'll show you guys the post-workout meal and the post-workout supplements as well. So we were back from the gym, but unfortunately I had my meeting pretty much right after the gym. So gym, shower, meeting, now we're gonna have a post-workout meal a little bit later than I would have wanted, but no worries there. The biggest thing is we're gonna have protein for the day. And with the fact that I'm still getting so much food in, I'm not really running on empty or anything like that. But we're gonna go ahead and have our post-workout supplements. So this is gonna be some creatine. Boom. I believe this is blue raspberry. Yeah, blue raspberry. And I think this one might be strawberry lemonade. Um, yeah, it is strawberry lemonade. But we're gonna go ahead and mix those. I will say in general, um, I can kind of mix most of these and they don't really taste bad in like any combination, which is good because sometimes I'll get blue raspberry, sometimes I'll get strawberry lemonade. Sometimes one will run out before the other. Oh, but there we go. You can see post right there. I'm gonna take that. All we're gonna do is take a little blender, this little thing right here. I think it's like a coffee frother or milk frother, but it works great for combining your creatine and water. Have that guy right there. And then just, yeah, post for ourselves. Tastes like strawberry lemonade. But we got our, oh, perfect. Our meal just uh, finished microwaving because it was just a reheat meal. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down at the counter show you guys the macros, well, the meal, as well as the macros and calories for our post-workout meal. Got our post-workout meal reheated. So this is the pasta, as well as some ground beef and red sauce. So all this is super simple. It is, um, I take two pounds of ground beef. I cook that up just on the stove top. Then I pour in an entire jar of red sauce, which I actually don't think I showed in the full day of eating or not the grocery haul yesterday. So I do get some red sauce, but we have always some red sauce in the pantry. You're gonna take a box of pasta. So I think it's eight servings, pour that in water. And basically currently on my bulk, that makes four meals for me. So it's eight ounces of ground beef. It's I think like whatever, a quarter of the jar of marinara and then two servings of pasta. That's what this meal is. But when I'm cutting that same amount of food gets me maybe six or seven meals just because I don't need all the calories. Then obviously to go with my orange shirt, we got a sumo orange as well as some carrots on the side for our micronutrients, get a little bit more fruits and vegetables in. But this meal right here, the 150 grams of carrots, we're actually gonna measure out and you grab my food scale real quick. And the sumo orange, as well as the pasta, it comes out to be 949 calories, 131 grams of carbs, mostly carbs coming from the pasta, but also the orange and carrots are carb sources as well. 20 grams of fat coming from the beef, and then 65 grams of protein. Once again, we got eight ounces of ground beef right here, 93.7, as well as a little protein kind of spread out throughout the pasta too. But that is meal number three. That is our post-workout meal. We got one more meal on the day. I think we got plenty of protein so far, probably 140-ish grams, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 136 grams of protein already. So my goal each day is around 160, 170. So that'll probably be hit no problem. And then, yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. I am a little bit full, I'll be honest, even though I didn't eat right when I come back from the gym, I'm just not full these days. Also, I know I don't know if any of you guys do, do the Wordle, but this has been like my biggest fear of all time. I've been on such a good streak lately, and this was my, oops, where is it? And this was my Wordle today. And obviously it'll be a couple days old by the time you guys see this video, but I got it, like I pretty much had it right away. Shape, shave, all that kind of stuff, and then it ended up being shade. I had one, two, three, four, five chances, and it was just one single letter off, which it is what it is. But yeah, that's unfortunate. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'll see you guys at the fourth and final meal. Come for the fourth and final meal of the day. We're changing things up a little bit because my mom made some sausage tortellini soup, which is one of my favorite meals. I actually have a recipe just like this in my new cookbook coming April 1st. And the only real difference is she uses pork sausage, 
pork sausage and I use turkey sausage. So it's a little bit higher fat, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my recipe of a turkey sausage tortellini and then remove the turkey sausage in my fitness pal and add in pork sausage instead because otherwise I still have spinach in mine, I still have tortellini in mine, I still have a very similar sauce to mine. So the big thing there, we're gonna make that simple change. We're also add a couple things to the meal to cap off our macros as well as our micros for the day. Our micros, we're having two small apples you can see those guys right there. They are very small. They're honey crisp, the best apple there is. And then we're also gonna add a Fit Crunch bar. This is kind of like my guilty pleasure on my bulk. And I might even keep it in the cut. It's just like, honestly, a peanut butter candy bar to me. It has a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of peanut butter. Tastes fantastic. Plus has a little bit of protein. Definitely not the highest protein bar because I think it only has six, yeah, 16 grams of protein for 190 calories. There are some bars out there like, 200 calories and 22 grams of protein or even higher. So it's a decent amount. And like I said, it is like a candy bar to me. It is my sweet treat at the end of the day. But let me go ahead, put you guys on the tripod. I'll go over the calories and macros for this final meal. And the macros for this final meal, we'll call it meal number four. We have, let's see, 945 calories, 115 grams of carbs, 34 grams of fat and 50 grams of protein. As I mentioned, I took a tortellini recipe uh, or sausage tortellini soup recipe I already had, replaced the turkey sausage with the pork sausage that my mom used, since in my recipe in the cookbook that I made, I used turkey sausage because we're trying to save on a little bit of calories, make a little higher protein. But with the protein bar, it still ends up being about 50 grams of protein. Plus the tortellini has a little bit of protein because there's cheese in the tortellini. There are apples there. And then the final calories for the entire day, are 3,169 calories, 403 grams of carbs, 97 grams of fat, and 187 grams of protein, which is spot on with where I wanna be. I wanna be between 3,000 to 3,200 calories as I'm trying to gain weight for the next couple weeks until I start the cut around May, which for me, I know I need to be above 3,000 calories to gain weight. If I eat 3,000 calories or less, I tend to lose weight or maintain. So we're good there on the calorie surplus. Carbs and fats, not really too worried about that, but healthy amount of both. And then protein, I wanna hit 170 to 180 grams. We've hit 187, so that's more than enough there. And nothing wrong with a little bit more protein. Um, it's gonna have a bare minimum, and I would say a little bit more protein is definitely a good thing. But I'm gonna go ahead, have this final meal, um, and that wraps up the full day of eating. As I mentioned, it's a little bit different. If I wasn't having this, and my mom didn't make this, I'd probably be having some sort of like maybe chicken rice bowl of some sort, or maybe uh, chicken quesadilla, or maybe even some more pasta with chicken and maybe another Alfredo sauce, something like that, because my go-to carb right now is definitely pasta. We got some tortellini in here, so that definitely fits the bill. If you guys do have any questions about anything, leave them down in the comments below. Without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.